Hey, yeah, yeah. I was distressed when I saw you guys having a word war. I found Drop Nation because I was watching one of your videos years ago. Then Hiram Hart and others through Drop Nation. To me, you're all the same brotherhood, priest of Haya. Oh, well. I would like to come to the land with my son. I would like to contribute to the effort. How do I do that? You all will be there in the spring, I assume, for Passover. I would like to spend a right holy day with brethren who adhere to scripture correctly. I would like to attend with my son, if possible, who must I contact? So, I hope you're all doing well. Um, uh, as you can see, I got this letter. Uh, and I got to talk to Mr. Dodd. Uh, Mr. Dodd said that, you know, he knows he kind of jumped ahead a little bit. Um, and I thought it was interesting, uh, as I was talking to Mr. Dodd, I let him know that I, after I read his letter, I talked to some other brothers, uh, actually blood brothers, um, um, and they were looking into, uh, how much it was for animals and things of that nature. Um, I feel that there are already, uh, about 20 men that have contacted me and have stated they want to participate, uh, how can they participate? Uh, if we have someone uh, that, that, that uh, buys the animals, if we have people that chip in for the animals, then we have 20 men right now to eat, uh, uh, to have a holy day. Um, if I keep this video short, I would hope that uh, people don't leave too many comments. I would I would, I would ask that the comments be uh, revolving around if you would attend uh, a zero for no, it's not for me, a one for the number of people that you plan to attend. You know, if it's just you, one. If it's you and your wife, two. If it's you and your son, two. And, uh, you know, if your whole family is five of you, of course, a five, and so on. Um, it would make uh, a big difference because it really gives us an idea of what to, to, to do. Um, we uh, don't have an altar. We, we you know, it, it's no big deal for us all to uh, camp. It's no big deal for us all to be on blankets in front of our, our tents uh, and things like that um, to have the Passover. And then uh, after the Passover, uh, like a groundbreaking kind of a, a function, we, we move into um, whatever we do with the land at that point, whether we plant or uh, whether we leave it as a tent site for people to visit uh, uh, Mount Zion, since Mount Zion is very, very, very close to that area. Um, if I go on, you've seen me do this before, if I go on uh, Greyhound right now and say Ohio to Utah, uh, whether it goes to Cedar or City or not, it's going to give me a discounted price because it's ahead of time. I have no idea uh, how many people live in your area that it's going. You're not going to know who's from your area until you're there. Um, you know, uh, if you if you want to go and and you don't have a way, I would pray, and uh, and we'll find out what what, what happens in the next uh, couple of months. Um, I feel we're heading in the right direction. We've been fulfilling scripture. When we put these headbands on, on people, we know that uh, we make the new priest community uh, from scripture, uh, as it says, and we are putting uh, bands on the heads of the Levites. When we, uh, when the high priests have established or have been established, you know, that's when we worry about putting the fine linen on them. Um, as we come together, as a whole, I have talked to you about passing these traits and skills on to each of you uh, as a group for, for group work and things of that. Uh, um, and it's, it's up to us to move forward. You know, um, even when the Israelites left, uh, Moses had to use his staff to, to cross the water. You know, he, 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 we have to understand what's going on. We need the most high, but it's our actions that do it. I was going through a hard time with finance, trying to be able to 
uh, establish these things for everybody and donors came out of the woodwork. You have to understand your people have a trillion dollar buying power. Your people do not want handouts. Your people do not want to be left out of things. Now, it'd be simple for me to say, I live in Ohio, I want to have the, the pass over here in Ohio, you know, but if 50 people come, and it's, it's not going to happen. I don't have the amount of area for 50 people uh, to do anything, whether it's just walk in and just high-five each other and leave. I, I don't have the area um, uh, to slaughter an animal uh, here in the city. You know that's off limits. And, and you know, uh, having these people who have any authority over you for that is, is ridiculous in this day of age. And they plan on taking more and more authority from you and giving it to yourself. You have to understand you pay for the police officer to have that weapon to shoot you with. This place does not make sense anymore. This, this is your, your, your last chance. If, if, there's, if there's another wave of people that try this, that's on you and them. But uh, you, you see this is happening. You, you, everybody can sit back and see this gaining momentum so much so that the evil people have to do a lot of silly stuff to compete when we go into this um, we understand that we are the Habaru okay now remember you're in the promised land okay there is nowhere in the Bible that says the fertile crescent all right, now I want you to think that the Fertile Crescent term is used all the time. All right, you hear it all the time. There's absolutely nothing about the Arabian Persian world that looks like the Fertile Crescent. But if you look at the Gulf of Mexico, you're going to notice a very, very, very unique shape. With Florida hanging down, going back over to Texas, you're going to see Crescent. And when you understand from the Louisiana swamp, you know, to Pensacola, Florida, uh, the trees taken out of that area for forestry, that is the Fertile Crescent. Now it says that these people, the Haparu, okay, um, you gotta understand this is, the rest of the world knows you as Haparu and you say shit like Hebrew and they're like, huh? Nobody is talking about no Hebrews except for fake Jews and other white nations uh, that have been under German control or you know barbarian control uh, the term Haparu is used in the second millennium text through the Fertile Crescent for the people described as remember you're in prison you're in jails you are the rebels you are the outlaws my last name is Williams Williams is a W is two V's and M is two N's you Williams converts to villain right mercenaries bowmen the sons of Jacob will be what servants and they will know the bow 400 years of slavery and what Japheth the white man Japheth will dwell in the tents of Shem Shem's afro children right come on you know what's going on don't forget Enriquez Christoph, right? I don't care what anybody says. This is the image of the Roman. Don't let people fuck with your mind. Remember Marcus Garvey? Come on, man. I'm not. I'm. I'm not your friend until we meet. But if you fall down, then it's easier to spot me. I don't give a fuck what you say, man. If you go down, it's easier to spot me. They hang you, they hang me. Right? Look at that. Right? You don't need no color picture to get it. You got this Crayola picture. Right? Now I type in Marcus, right? Henriquez, right? Excuse me, Henriquez Christoph. 
right? They know who he is, yet they show me all these Caucasians. Why? Right? I type in Marcus Garvey, right? They don't want to show me that many of the Roman shit, right? Leave it all black and white, because black and white is boring. They don't want to see the colorful, vivid Roman, what? Emblems hanging on his chest? And who's the top hat nigga with him? A unique phenotype he has too. And where do the we see where do we see these guys right here? Hmm? Just take a detour. Everybody likes a detour. So let's first look at the research of Dr. Kim Lewis. In 2013, uh, Dr. Gates indicated that only about 388,000 individuals, enslaved individuals, were actually brought to the continental United States. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a logical question. If you're in uh, September, you're over here preaching that uh, Henry Lewis, sorry, sorry, doctor, a, a freaking accredited doctor, right? Let me hear that again. Individuals, enslaved individuals, about 388,000 number of forensic issues that you will encounter as you are doing your research. And so that's where we're resolving that right now. So let's look at the research of Dr. Henry Louis Gates. In 2013, uh, Dr. Gates indicated that only about 388,000 individuals, enslaved individuals, were actually brought to the continental United States. Okay, so 300,000 people, that's that's colonization for you, right? Mm -hmm. A whole continent picked up and brought to another continent, right? Wink, wink. So, um, so I want you to notice that the doctor here will bring up another doctor and she'll tell you that uh, in September, right? Now, a month ago, it's December 11th. So a month ago is November, right? Now, in, in September, she can tell you about a prominent doctor that's going to tell you the truth about the slave trade. Why in the fuck is she, she downgrading last month to prop this motherfucker up? When all these amazing, amazing, amazing YouTube authors drug us all up out the dirt. Hmm? Hmm? Six years ago, A.B. the legend brought us up out the dirt showing us what's going on. Huh? You forget these people? Good old Doc. You, you remember somebody that's got two years of video, but you don't remember all these people with six and seven years of video showing us, but you remember Dr. Lewis Gates. But you don't remember that, sh that shit in November when you start telling us about Dane Calloway. Hmm? But you never heard of a doc. A doc, Tracy, you ain't never heard of the indigenous one? teaching us for at least seven years, huh? I got the videos here to prove it. Teaching us for years who we are. But all of a sudden, you gonna come and you gonna teach us, huh? Dane Calloway's right, huh? And, and what? And Kanye West is right, right? King James, I watched my friend teach this lesson a year and a half ago, Doc, you're a little bit behind with a doctorate. But you keep teaching this garbage, right? Teaching that Dr. Lewis, right? Dr. Lewis Gates already taught. An accredited doctor already taught. Only 300,000 are coming from Africa. But what? How, how can you teach that very few Africans were brought here, yet you constantly reinforce indigenous people are Africans, you fraud. What's wrong with you, Doc? Whose side you on, Doc? Why you bring up a grown man months ago, Doc? And you bring up a child the other day, Doc? 
You and Max Ingram got the same disease, Doc. It's called the I need to eat and I need money disease, Doc. What's wrong with y'all, Doc? What up, Doc? I need some explaining to do. Because when my wife was pregnant, I sat there and said one and one is three, Doc. I know this motherfucker ain't knocked nobody up. Doc. It's called cherry picking, Doc. Nuclear family's my lesson, Doc. Now, Doc, you're propping up this. Henricus. Y'all trying to Henricus me, Doc. You must have forgot I knew who Rome was, Doc. Right? And I sat here and I listened to this shit. Right? And this motherfucker, right? Uh, hey, what happened to the aboriginals over there? Huh? Huh, Max? Oh, well, I don't know. Huh? Right? Uh, no, they got, they don't stole. It's the game of risk. They steal all this fucking land. Right? They analyze everything under the microscope. Where are the aboriginals of Australia? Um, I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would check down by the rivers, right? You're on a fucking island. And you guys gonna act like Crocodile Dundee can find these motherfuckers to make movies, but all of a sudden, you can't find no aboriginals no more, right? All the Australians, starving motherfuckers couldn't grow shit before, all of them a little bit chubbier now, right? But you can't find the aboriginals. Well, what the fuck is going on with the aboriginals of, of Australia, man? But you're worried about what? The aboriginals in America? Why? What's wrong, Max? You hungry? You run out of food supply, Max? You want, want me to read to you out the fucking Bible, Max, who you ate? Want me to take it from the Bible to the dictionary and teach you about the people of Kerr? The people that y'all ate, the aboriginals, the crocodile, Dundee. Got there too, though. Not really going to know what history is. So it isn't so far-fetched when you think about this. And the information about the foundling trains and the orphan trains is very, very compelling and very important information. And it is a huge piece of the puzzle. Another video that I found, another channel that I found, because another question that I asked last week was the slave trade. I was questioning the slave trade and the reality of the slave trade about what really happened during the slave trade. And that led me to another channel and information that was put together by a black man by the name of Dane Calloway, who is... You know what black means? It means marginalized. Yeah, he just said a black man. He just marginalized you. I was listening to information by some nigger. And the nickel said this, right? And see, this is how fucking stupid you dumb motherfuckers are. I mean, seriously. I mean, you work like a fucking clock. It's 10 minutes to 12. Publish now, right? And every fucking week, like fucking clockwork, one of you dumb motherfuckers say something completely fucking stupid that gives it away for all of you. And I'm glad you do. I'm sincerely glad you do. Because I'll never be in that fucking boat. Fuck up, dumb motherfucker riding shotgun again saying, where are we going, boss? No. You got you guys are always trying to fucking scam somebody. Chief Warhorse tell you out her fucking mouth. Oh, well, mm, mm, uh, our people were 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 in contracts with the, the United States until we helped the slaves. Whoa. Once you say you helped the slave, that means you no slave. All these people, oh, oh, back to, they were, three years ago, all the black people in America are Israelites. Really? And why is there fucking so much black on black crime? How could the white man highlight it unless it's just many black nations being oppressed by what? Fucking white nation. They come here and live better than you and then tell you who you are and you wonder why you're in a fucking confused state.
you believe anything fucking this motherfucker say. Max Ingram. I don't even, I don't even have anything to say about Dan Calloway. Well, why would I fucking say anything? If it's not obvious to everybody that he said, I'll teach black people for five grand, I'll fucking tell black people, I'll show black people the evidence that they're, that they're, that they're fucking indigenous. Why would you need to get paid? Why wouldn't you just show them and just let them donate to you? Not only that, you fucking update. He said, fuck that. I ain't even going to meet them for fucking five grand. I want 10 grand. All right. Saying shit. So black people's future to find out that they ain't black and they're not, they're not African, that they're indigenous. That, that shit don't mean shit unless you get paid. There's, there's nothing I have to say about that. It speaks volumes for itself. No, I, I got, I, I have to fucking say something to your Freemason group, Max Ingram and Dr. Tracy, whatever the fucking much you call it, whatever. Right. And J J A Y S O N and conspiracy are us and all the mud flood people and Christianity that the new Testament, the Testament, uh, new Testament must've came before the old Testament. Cause Flamenco said so. Cause he found something in 1300 that matched the new Testament. It's a shame when you guys are doing, when you see the actions of all these different YouTube authors that popped up a year ago, two years ago, and no longer talking about the exact same thing that nobody's ever heard of, nobody's ever paid attention to. And it grabs everybody's attention at once. Don't you think it's going to be odd that you're all saying the same fucking thing, almost like you're in a group? See, you're adding overviews that have nothing to do with the material you're showing, but the set you have it all have the same fucking overview. Like you all learned it from the same teacher, which is unique because then it makes me want to figure out who your teacher is. But it doesn't matter. That person will reveal themselves. There's no way someone would be so fucking stupid to have you all release something related to Dane Calloway a fucking 15 days apart each time. And that's a calculated idiot. Because he's running out of time. Which means us having the Passover this year is crucial. So, for those of you that understand what I'm saying by the images that I show you alone, and because you've been watching all these videos in, in your spare time, think about what I said today. Think about why Chief Warhorse and Dr. Tracy, whatever the hell her name is, uh, and um, Max. Egan comes out of nowhere all of a sudden. Then pay attention to what Max Egan talks about, leaning back to mud flood, and oh, the biblical flood must have been 200 years ago. And I want you to pay attention to the seismic work, because they'll sit there and show you that there'll be buildings that are pushed down in the soil and turned sideways, because when you vibrate f soil, like in an earthquake that happens all the time, structures sink down into the soil. So what they're doing is they're teaching you about subjects that haven't truly been covered before, and they're using the, the, the introduction to these subjects to compile other subjects underneath them, claim they're Bible-related, to bring confusion about timelines within the Bible. And of course, this bothers small-minded people. This bothers people that are spiritually weak. Again, you working out and having strong arms is because you got into a constant regimen of, I'm going to be bigger, I'm going to be bigger, I'm going to be bigger, right? Somebody being spiritually strong, don't listen to that bullshit. I'm spiritually strong, I feel it inside of me. That's called... 
it's called metabolism, dude. You're just burning energy. And as you burn that energy, it's a fuel. And you don't know how to expel it because you sit around doing nothing but watching fucking videos. Spiritually strong is just like working out. You start with nothing. The more you understand, the more you comprehend. If you're comprehending the wrong things, you're just spiritually strong towards lies. Which means you're actually spiritually weak. Now, how many times have you seen somebody spiritually weak thinking they're spiritually strong? Jesus is going to destroy you all for this. Shut the fuck up, idiot. Jesus is Lucifer. Read your Bible. Read it twice. I want you to think about something. There's one of these motherfuckers. His name is, uh, it has something to do with outdoors. I can't remember this dude's name. He's got gray hair and fucking beard, all that stupid shit, right? And he's sitting there, sitting, he sits there and talking about the sun and the moon being a clock. He said the sun and the moon are a clock, and he explains metaphysically they were married, and one is chasing the other. And at a time, this is what he explains, at a time when the sun and moon was, uh, uh, when the, time, uh, the, the, the days were 360, remember God didn't change the days, man changed the days, this is how stupid this motherfucker is, he says, they're chasing each other, right, they're always at equal balance, right, going around and around and around, can't catch each other, so he says, the quote from Jesus, about Jesus saying that the day of the Lord is like, a bride, uh, a bridegroom, uh, being prepared for the wedding, right? Meaning the merger of the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon actually shine at the same time. That's why in the Bible you're told there will be uh, the the sun will shine at night and the moon will shine at day, right? They'll switch you know, all that shit. This dude opens up with the sun is the devil. Listen very close. I want they they just hit me with another copyright strike, or I'd have played this shit. This dummy says, the sun is the devil, and the moon is Venus, and the moon is trying to catch up with the sun. Then he brings up the Jesus statement and says, Jesus says, the last day is like uh, the bridegroom coming. Then he says, Jesus says, I'm the bridegroom. Motherfucker, you just opened up saying that the sun is the devil. If the sun is the devil, who is the bridegroom? And Jesus says at the end of the story, he is the Fucking son! He just told you he's the devil, you fucking idiot. And again, at the end of this story, the Christian has no idea Jesus just said he's the devil. But he's sitting there, of course, up there proud. I'm teaching the world safety and the love of Jesus. I've never seen a bigger group of dum-dums. That's why I say we have these people like close to 10 years pulled us all up by our bootstraps you ain't African these these men went out on a limb and, well, a lemon they went out on a limb these women went out on a limb when all of us were sitting there I'm a nigga I ain't black I'm black I ain't African they fucking showed us who we are. Who are these fucking these these these, these fucking Roman black robot robots and these devil barbarian honkies to sit here and tell us who who we should listen to? Who gives a fuck, you people eating bastard? Again, let me scoot thy picture over. Where the fuck are the aboriginals? All right, so you get into uh, these motherfuckers make me sick, man. Oh, Amos, Amos ninety-seven. Let's go, man. Let's get it. Cushites, right? I'm gonna show you the secret name of the Cushites. See, I told you it was Cush last time. You didn't believe me. Always want to argue, right? Are you not as the children of Ethiopians to me? This is what 
Columbus quotes when he sees the people of the Caribbean. Right? The arrow walks. The children of what? The Habaroos will always be bowmen, arrow men. Arrow walk. I'm an arrow ock. Right? What up, ock? I'm an arrow ock. Right? Oh, children of Israel. Yeah, sure. Right? Say the Lord. Have I not brought up the Israels out of the land of the Philistines? Right? Uh, excuse me. The Israel out of the land of Egypt. Philistines from Cathor. Cathorum. And what? The king of Egypt make what? Philistines. I actually did a video on this when I tried to upload it on my cell phone. YouTube wouldn't accept it. And the Syrians from Kerr. Right? It's K-I-R. So I, I keep typing in K-U-R. Right? Let me go back here. K-I-R. Kir. The Kir. The Kir Mobab. No, don't fall for that shit. You already know Moab is black. Don't fall for that shit. Right? The Kir. Amos. Right? Assyrians conquered Damascus. Right? Now we own something. We in the book of Amos, they're talking about Damascus, the hometown of Syria, and they're talking about Syria. Let's go back. Amos 9 and 7. Let's go forward. Right? Syrians occur. So whoever wrote online, the Kura Moab is trying to fucking trick you. Whoever has the power to put it up here, excuse me, right there, is trying to trick you. You see the Bible map say Assyria. That's what we got right here, over here in the biblical scripture. The Bible, right? Tropical, topical, right? Topical Bible says Kerr, right? Says Syrian Aram. That's the correct. That's right. That matches the scripture. Correct? Right. Kerr of Moab, false. Now, you see what just happened? They tried to trick you. Now, most people would have came and saw one of the two. Am I looking for Assyrian people or am I looking for Moab people? All right? Now you got to understand what's going on. There are people that control the system that you use, that you are so fond of, they set you up to fail. They set it up so the first results are false results. That's what I said. You fucking go 10 pages in, you go find the truth. And you got two choices right there. Scroll down, you hit 10. What's going to come up? Is it going to say Moab or Assyrian? Let's see. Kerr of Yanisa. I would guess that's going to be more Assyrian than Moab. Fortress Assyria. Assyria pops up again. Albania. I'm going to guess that's closer to Assyria. The ancient traditions of vendettas v for vendetta whoa this is getting closer to what we want so you can you have more of a chance to trust what's 10 pages in now if you can understand it or not blah 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 so if i go 10 pages in i don't see shit about moab then i go back to page one and i ignore everything about moab now only look for the stuff that look fucking arabic or assyrian so again, is Kerr, right? Bible study tools. Who is the Kerr? <clears throat> so, a wall or fortress, a place which Tiglath Pilsner. Whoa, Tiglath Pilsner, that's the same person that uprooted the Israelites. So, he carried the Syrians captive after he'd taken the city of Damascus. In the book of Kings, 2 Kings, in the book of Amos, in the book of Isaiah, who also was contemporary with these events mentioned with, along with Elam. Uh, some have supposed that the Kerr is a variant of Cush. Okay, so now that they're saying it is there are people that do not go with the establishment. And the people that do not go with the establishment say that the Kerr people are the Cush people. Now, if you go all over the earth and you ain't find no Kerr people that would be the Cushites, 
they would have to be under a different title. Now, how would you prove, I'll show you this later, how would you prove the people of Crocodile Dundee are the people in the Bible called the Cushites, whom are the Kerr people in all these definitions? Hmm? Why don't we fucking ask Max Ingram since he's fucking sitting over there, you punk bitch? Fuck nasty motherfuckers, dude. Oh, I wonder what the people in America are going to say. Fucking nasty bastard. There, there's a black, I forgot how that piece of shit's accent is, right? All of it sound like fucking what? Like a crocodile Dundee, right? But he's worried about what's going on, the slave trade in America. Hey, where are the people that used to be on the land that you're on? I think we're worried about two different things. You're worried about who's who's going to control the black mind over here with your Marcus Garvey and your Henricus, right? Because you're Habaru people, and they know. Because you're classified as the Fertile Crescent, right? People are the Fertile Crescent. But in the Fertile Crescent, that shape right there between Florida, right, the black Florida Indians in Texas, right, that curve. That Gulf of Mexico curve, that's, is that the Fertile Crescent? How much food comes out of that area? You know, that's the place you get boiled peanuts. You know, peanuts and beans are in the same category, like biblically. So, like, boiled peanuts is the same as boiled pottage. You know, pottage is being boiled, right? So, Edom saying, I'll trade you my birth my, my birthright for that pottage would be the same as some nigga saying, I'll trade you my birthright for the boiled peanut soup. Yeah. Really, legume, a, a, a peanuts a legume, a beans a legume, legumes, legume, legume, legume ego, right? Edom, Edom, Adum, I'm going to have a man teach you about that. Mr. Harris, he's going to teach us about Adume and Edume. You know, um, Fertile Crescent, described as rebels. We're, re we're rebels, right? You know, we're rebels. We're rebelling. Williams, right? Two two V's make right? Make a W. Two N's make an M, right? So Williams is really villains, right? We're outlaws, raiders, raiders of the lost ark of the covenant of the holy people, because they're lost two lost ten tribes, right? Right? Mercenaries, right? That nigga will do anything for money because Bowman, right? Bowman, right? Arrow walks. Arrow ock. I'm an arrow ock, right? Servant, slaves, laborers, come on. You already know this shit. He doesn't have any skills, he's just a laborer. They kept the skills out of his hand. Teach a man to fish, he'll never have to ask for food, right? And they wanted to make sure you keep asking for food. Isn't it fucking obvious? You always gotta ask for food, they won't teach you any skill, right? Commonly identified as the Aperu, right? The rest of the world, that's how the rest of the world knows you. You're in America, they just know you as a fucking Hebrew or Ebu or Eber. The rest of the world knows you as an apparu. Was an apparition versus an apparu. An apparu is, is what? A person of, of what? The holy order. And an apparition is what? A vision of the holy order? Come on. It's right. Look at that. You want to see the next one? Let's go to the next one. Bam. Let's do Jerusalem. I, 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 let's just do it. Just don't even talk, right? Blah, 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 blah. Here, here is it. Here, 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 right? Or from Hebrew, right? Yerushalayim, right? I keep telling you, y'all, right? Literally, foundation of peace. It's a fucking peace embassy. It's an embassy. That's what it's always been, right? From rich Yara. He through he cast what peace he threw peace onto the earth, and that is what we are supposed to represent. This is why we can't have that racist attitude when they come to learn about him. Who are we to judge who should and should not learn about him? This is all about the covenant, right? 
Because the nation, right? These nations it has to do with the boundaries, right? Ed taught us this. You got to chop this motherfucker up. Ignore <coughs> race. It's a large group of people with a common what language, right? Breed, stock, right? born on what? A country or a land, right? Ed showed us this, right? So listen, the Bible says, I took you from the four corners. I'll make this short and sweet, right? Get over here in this other book. I took you from the four corners. What is the four corners? The four corners is a region from the United States consisting of the southwestern corner of Colorado, eastern corner of Utah, the northeastern corner of Arizona, and northwestern corner of New Mexico. Where is the new uh, the ten uh, the Ten Commandments found in stone? Right in Ohio and in New Mexico. Come on. I'll take you from the four corners and I'll move you to the, what, four corners, right? And what's going to be in the four corners? Now, look, there's one corner. There's two corners. There's three corners. There's a fourth corner. Don't even think about you being moved to any other fucking country. Let me show you this. And the nations brought what? What is a fucking nation? The Bible's telling us a Greek is what? It's a heathen. But what is a heathen? A heathen is what? A person of a nation that believes their wicked ass could be holy. Right? They believe that they can be the ambassador. They believe they can run Jerusalem. That's a heathen. What is a pagan? A pagan is just somebody out there worshiping anything. Any fucking thing. This tree is marvelous. You see the tree bitch that wanted to sleep the screws trees? And trust me, it just, this shit happens. <clears throat> so, what what is what is in uh, 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 the nations, right? Group of people, same language, and agenda within a border. And what did these motherfuckers do? They picked up their culture from their land. Remember, the Greeks are a nation that were deemed a heathen nation they were half breeds half persian and half barbarian they didn't have any home they set up in macedonia they stole land they squatted and then they defended that land that is what herodotus writes these people groups picked up their land right their customs and they brought them here in, in, in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, you drive up there, the first thing you see when you get into Wisconsin is Wales this and Wales that. That means the people from Wales moved right in there, and then another group of an ethnic group is above that. Now, if there's some more Wales or some... Finns or something in some other area. They're just some in some other area in pocketed groups Now when you look at these sports teams in these maps, this is going to sum it all up <clears throat> Now you have your Kansas City Chiefs everybody knows that the Indians were sent To Kansas and Oklahoma All right, well, what's next what's next to Oklahoma? Kansas City and what's in Kent the Chiefs from the Washington Redskins and the Cleveland Indians right all had to march off what the the the, the trail of tears and think about this you had the Saints down here in St. Louis right this is the Kressel this is a federal Ferdinand Kressel Cressel, pretzel, fertile crescent, right? What was F Florida, the Seminole Indians? Remember, the Indians were all over, and then they they were poisoned with biological warfare. They had to, what, regroup, and they moved Florida as, what, a base of operations to war with Jackson. This is what happened. You got sent to pockets of where they brought their nation, their culture. They brought their culture 
to the promised land and you were sent from where your family was with groups of other people to go be oppressed by them. That's why you got this country's mill and that country's mill and this country's general mill and that country's Kellogg refinery right there near your city. Hey, I don't need you to believe me. I've driven through Illinois and I know they got the mills. I've driven through in uh, Indiana and I know they got the different mills with the different. They got the Moore's mill in Atlanta. Everywhere they had a major population, they had a mill. A mill's where you go and get food, like mullet, lamb, and 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 and, and different shit mixed with it. Lamb and beans, lamb and rice, right? If I type in millet, it's gonna say it's what lamb and wheat or something like that. Mullet, millet. That's what these sports teams have to do with. The Mariners are are what? That's a Marine. Before they were Marines, from the when the Marines sing their song from the halls of Montezuma, they're the Mariners. They are pirates. When somebody came around and said, we got a better deal, you know the sea. It's, it's just like when they form a police unit, right? And they go to the thieves first. We're going to clean this place up. We're going to organize things. You want to in or you want out. If you're out, we're against you. If you're in, you're part of us. What do they go to the pirates and say? We're taking down these pirates because they're infamous. Everybody else has a chance to join this country, this country, or your own country's navy. But they're called mariners. Or you can... Or you can join the East Indian Trading Company. Or else you become wanted pirates. And piracy is illegal. And what they say, they sent the prisoners, right? They said, at a time of piracy, and the only motherfuckers that couldn't get along, that still kept stealing, they sent to where? They sent their European prisoners to Australia. We already know they sent prisoners here to America. They sent European thieves and prisoners here to America. That's no surprise. We see them every day. We see how they operate. Where are these black people uh, 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 from our streets missing? You got, <clears throat> you got, you got natural disaster. A few years, another natural disaster. What do they say in Louisiana? They were killing black folks. What do they say in Houston? They were killing black people. You got a white dude that nobody can verify his information saying they were killing blacks and just throwing them in the water to be drift out to sea for the fucking shark bait. Nobody can verify him, yet everybody believes him, yet you still got fat ass Phil saying, I don't know why you people live out in these rural areas, you should come to Houston, we got plenty of room for you. Yeah, you just killed off the last fucking breed that couldn't fucking hack it. Of course you have plenty of room. I don't know why these people fall for this Freemason shit. All these educated people, I hear this from Big Vince all the time. How do all these college educated people come out of college like this black, what, the black finance failure fuck comes out of college, right? Kicked, kicked out of your tenancy and still calling melanated people black. Grow up. It's just like Dr. Tracy Funyon sitting there saying, uh, mm, there's not that many African slaves, so these African Americans, why are you calling them African Americans? You just said there's not that many real slaves that came out of there. There's an agenda. You know there's an agenda. You're complying with the agenda. But there's a movement to say there's a slave trade. You've already proven the slave trade's false with 
hire accredited people? Why go to the low pole? Because you're part of a group. Probably one of these groups that came and sat. They fucking, they establishment down on our establishment. You're part of one of these freeloaders here. It's, it's here getting free fucking Burger King from us. Getting free lumber. Getting free fish from our rivers. Getting free clean water from the promised land. Why? Because all those nations that built up different cities in Europe that you overthrew and you're dumb barbarians and you didn't know how to keep their shit going. That's why everything here is breakable. Because they expect everybody to be as mad as a fucking caveman and just bust it. That's why we buy cheap shit from China. So it can all break. It can constantly cost you. Pay more for less. Because I'm always going to ask, if the man is going to sit there and say, if you want me to prove to my people that they are aboriginal, pay me $5,000. And when a man says, if you want me to prove to my people that they are indigenous, pay me $10,000. Who's he? Who's he in this for? And what happens when he proves to the people who they are? And he gets his money. And then what? When did you see a white man say, give me money to prove that we're barbarians? When did you say, see a white man say, give me money to prove that, 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 that we're Israelites. But you got all these other internet authors, these awesome content providers, that done sat here and laid it down on the line for years. Many, many, many years longer. And you have a so-called doctor who literally months before brings up a more accredited person. It brings up a fucking accredited person previously. And why would she downgrade? But then, you know, it comes to a point where you have these fucking people that are land thieves, soul thieves, flesh thieves, flesh eaters. They uh, are sitting side by side on the same soil as a whole people that looks completely different from them. And these people, uh, somehow, they go missing. It's like, you know, it's like they dug a fucking hole to China and climb to China um, just to get away from these evil fucking Australians. And, 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 and yet and still today, when you say to the Australian, where is the Aboriginal, the, the Australian still having the uh, uh, audacity to fucking and say, I have no idea with, with his, his fucking belly button sticking out. You can almost see the Aboriginal's fingers trying to claw back out of the throat of the greedy Australian who ate those people. Don't fuck with my people. Remember, I only have the power to broadcast not because of YouTube, not because of Google, and definitely not because of some barbarians that claim to be Americans. I have the power of speech and breath, mimic mockery, legitimate complaint, and praise, all because of my Lord, thy God, thy Creator. I am that I am gave me the power, the will, and desire to stand in front of you.
people who hate him. I will always stand in front of you like a giant bus coming to run over little puddles. <laughs>